Okay guys, welcome to your ninth Android tutorial. Today we're going to continue with our menus. We're going to add the clicking property. So in the activity that the menus associate with, we're going to put in uh, our at override for another we're going to override another superclass method. Okay, and it's going to be public boolean on I think it's on menu item selected. I think that's it. I'm just going to double check that actually. I can't quite remember and my phone's telling me that I've got an email. Okay, so I found out what it actually is. It's on, op on options item selected, which is a bit confusing. And it takes the parameter of a menu item. Okay, now it should return true. So we're going to actually have it. We're going to ignore that actually. We're, gonna, we're not going to return anything for now. The thing is, okay, when an item is clicked in a menu, the item itself, a, uh, an object in Java create called an, an a menu item object, is passed into this method. So you need to manipulate that to tell which which icon was clicked, because it could be any of the five icons we have or four icons. So what we do is we're going to make a switch block. Switch. Now remember, IDs act like ints in the Java code. So switch, and we're going to say item dot get ID. We're essentially going to do a switch or get item ID. Now by doing that switch block, that will tell us that the switch will now tell us which one it is. So that will get us to perform a switch on the item ID. So we're going to type in case and we're going to have or dot ID dot Twitter and now then we have return true now we're going to add a little logger statement just to tell, to tell us that the Twitter button has been clicked so log.i tag and then tw don't need pound symbols Twitter item clicked Okay, and then we're going to just copy paste this a little bit for the other icons, the other three. So we've got Facebook and refresh. Okay, very nice. Now, a bit of a problem. This is all nice. But what happens if none of these are clicked? This method has to run, return true, so we're going to need to put in a default. And that is going to be return. And then we're going to say super dot on dot on options item selected menu item item. That's what you return by default. Okay? Don't ask me what this is about. I just I don't even know myself. It just works. And we're just gonna make this Facebook. I'm not gonna care about capitalization for now. And refresh. Refresh. Okay, so let's test that. See what happens. change over to the log cat and I'll see if I can keep it scrolled up so I may have to click the item a bunch of times because I zoom this in a lot now the video in a good bit so I'll actually draw this up so we can see the log cat and boom the activity is now up so if I click refresh Facebook Twitter refresh Facebook Twitter just do a bunch of clicking you can see the log cat is now freaking out with all the clicks but you can see that it's now giving our clicks for each item each time we click it very good so that means our clicks are now working I'm just going to drag this back down okay so our clicks are now working that's very fine and dandy what if we want to add an icon or a picture so what I've done is I've done this before this tutorial is in each of these folders I've created 
Twitter logo, .png in each of these high de density folders. Essentially what happens here is each of these files are of different size, are the same picture, but different sizes. For example, I think this is 4848. This is, the high density I think is 3636, 2424 and 18 by 18 pixels. Now, we'll, we'll go through icon iconography in a bit and good ideas, but essentially all it is is a PNG file. Android, you always work at PNGs and it's just a Twitter logo with a little bit of space around it. So we're going to change our Twitter icon. So we're going to get rid of this Android title property because we don't need that anymore. We're going to put in a picture. So it's Android icon. Okay, and it's going to be at drawable, which means from the drawable folder. From a drawable folder, and don't forget there's four drawables, but Android at runtime, don't forget, automatically selects which one is going to be used. Because that's one of the great powers of Android. And our drawable is not Twitter, it's Twitter icon. It's not iron, it's an icon. I can't type. So remember how layout land and layout port would automatically select. And Eclipse has actually given me an error down the in the console telling me that it's actually called logo. My mistake. But remember how the layout land layout port would auto select depending on which thing was going on. Well, now it's going to select based on the screen density. So if you have a very densely packed pixel screen, you're going to want a bigger picture to fill all the pixels so it doesn't look pixelated. You have the extra high density. Now. Currently, the only device I know of that, that I know that I that has a high, extra high density is actually the um, S3. It's the only one I own, not the only one I know of. I know there's much higher densities. But if we run this, we will see very quickly that the Twitter text will be replaced with an icon. Come on now. And boom, Twitter has now now got its own little thing. And if I clicked that a bunch of times, it would show up in the thing of Twitter item clicked. So since we just changed the property to make an icon. So that's been this tutorial. Next time, now, next video, we're going to solve a little bit of a problem because if I click the press me button, that remember that brings us to our next activity. Our menu's gone. What if we want to continue the menu? Well show you how to get around that in her next video.